So we're going to talk about how to create a database and how to create a table using SQL. It's important to note that you will probably not do it this way in practice. And so don't follow along. How this is done differs dramatically from one database management system to another. And most of the time when you need to create a database or create a table, you won't be using SQL. You will either use the interface that comes with your database management system if you're creating the database and the tables for your own use, or if you're creating them for the purpose of an application that you've acquired, you've downloaded it from the internet or you've purchased it, there's usually scripts that will create the databases and the tables for you in the specific ways that they need to be created in that specific environment. So this is for informational purposes only. You don't need to follow along, but here's generally speaking what the SQL looks like for creating a database and for creating a table. A database is created using the create database statement. Create database and the name of the database, and we'll go ahead and run it. So the database has been created. The way SID works, because the web is a context-free environment, we need to load it again so that you can see the database show up here in the list, and there it is. And now we can create a table. Create table is a bit more complex. Now this create table statement is a bit larger than our text box, and that's okay. You can see that it's indented, so we know what all relates to what. Let's take a look at the different parts of it. Create table and the name of the table, and then within these parentheses is the definition of the table. It's called the table definition. Each line here is one column, so this is the ID column, the name column, the address column, etc. The ID column is what's called a primary key, and so it says primary key here. The type of the column is integer. Not null means that null values are not allowed in this column. So if somebody inserts a null value, an error will occur. Auto increment is a MySQL specific feature. This particular syntax will not work in other databases, but other database systems will have an equivalent feature. What this does is automatically inserts a value that's the next available integer for this column. So when you insert rows into this table, you don't insert an ID column. The database takes care of that for you and automatically gives you the next incremental value. So the first row will have a 1 in this column, the second row will have a 2, and on and on and on. And that can be used as an ID for linking the tables together with joins, and we'll learn about that in the later lesson. The name column is of type vercare, how I pronounce it. And again, this is another place where this is vendor specific. In different databases, this will be called something else. Unfortunately, this is one of the areas where databases are the most different. And again, this is one of the reasons you won't be writing this SQL yourself very often. This is an area where databases are very, very different. The names of the column types, how they're spelled, what their limitations are, what their options are, how this create table statement is constructed tends to be very different between databases. So these three columns are of the variable character type, and these last two are fixed character types. You'll notice that there are commas after all of these columns except the last one. That's because the comma in this context is not a terminator, it's a separator. And so you have commas in between the columns, but not between the last column and the closing parentheses. I included a semicolon here because the create table 
statement tends to usually be in a context where there's multiple statements. It's usually followed by another create table or a set of inserts. So they tend to have semicolons, but again, it's just going to depend a whole lot on the context. So that's how you use create database and create table. It's good to know generally how these statements work, even though you will probably create your databases and your tables in other ways. This is generally what the SQL looks like.